all the week, but I, I figured on the weekends, it gives us a chance to talk and, you know, and, you know, someone like you who you're invested with the stream, you're always on and stuff, you know, it's, it's different. And as, as you progress and you get on on the weekend, you, you get a chance to see how cool they are. You can allow them to come to your, your major maps during the week. And that's kind of how I've been working. It's been working out pretty well. All right, so I am streaming this, so I, I am recording at the same time. I uh, just want to let you, as a dis, as a disclaimer, um, chances are, as this being an SOS program, it will end up on my YouTube page. Um, so are you okay with that? Okay. Ah, do you know what? We all do. All right, let's take a look at uh, where we need to go, man. Let me know what field you're you're talking about. Okay. Oh, that's no, that's a pretty easy fix there. Well, let's start with 29 and 30 and get these connected. And then uh, we can jump over there and then make a plan as we go go along. That way we can get some progression going. Um, I like... First step, let me just see what you got going on here, see what you own. Um, okay, because I don't, I, I don't, how much money do you currently have? That, that way I know what I can actually, you can afford. All right, I'll keep it simple. Um, let's start off with the plows. Um, where do you keep your plows? Do you have any plows currently? Okay, I, I like uh, um, the main plow I like for um, bigger distances. Hey, CB, how you doing, man? Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, I, I like the um, the diamond. 12 um it's the blue one that it's the first blue one it's an easy plow to use and um f for making my lines and stuff try to get them a little bit more one of these two millimeter plows it's um i would say stick with the cheapest one the the 1.9 the, the 12 grand or the it sounds weird having two different size plows but um, it just works for me. Um, so either the the Veer Master or the the AB eighty five works for me. Those are the, I don't need anything more than that for plows. Um, I do like 
because I do overplow. I know you've seen my stream, so I do overplow. So for a grass seeder, I just stick with the the dirt cheap, uh, the first one there, the fifteen thousand dollar one, the the three hundred two. Uh, t -t 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 yeah, it's the two the two smaller ones. One of them is is okay. They they both work. Um. And once once we uh, get done with all of the plow, your plowing needs, you can always sell them off. Um, and any tractor will will work. Um, for plowing um i don't want to get too expensive with this because you do have limited amount of money um let me see what you got here you got see so you got a t6 I may actually it's gonna be that one's gonna be a little lightweight. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but it's only because when I do my grass laying out, it's it makes it easier for me to, to lay my straight lines. Um, for the plowing, I actually like the T8. It's a it's a new haul and it's three hundred and twelve thousand. You can always sell it off when I'm done. Um, the reason why is because with the grass seeder, the the grass seeder and the track width are almost exactly the same length, so I can line my lines up that way. Hey, hey, excuse the lag. How you doing, man? Okay, cool. Uh, okay um so that way everybody knows what's going on uh we are doing an sos with kato um or cat he's a follower on my stream long time follower um first time farmer no um he's needed some help on his farm for a few weeks now and and we set up a day so we can help him out um so that's what we're going to do today um, for a little while is we're going to help him out on his farm. Um, he, he definitely needs some help with some plowing issues and some other stuff. Um, if anyone wants to, to join, um, just make sure you get the proper DLCs, which is the JCB, the Gold, the Free Pack, and I believe he said the New Holland. Yes, we're going to help you too t um, sometime today. How, how late are you on till? Excuse. You there, excuse? I know your mic's probably not working too well. Because normally you're talking. <laughs> One o'clock, what time do you have right now? I know the time difference is different.
And are you going to be on later today? Because I'm going to be doing multiple streams probably today. More than likely. Um... Oh, you over here. <laughs> it's 12 away, but I'll be gone for a while. Okay, you're a, w a few hours ahead of me. Uh, what time do you plan on being back? Um, I know a big load. Seven days to die is 30 bucks, but that's I, don't, I just don't have that kind of funding right now. Sorry, big. I mean, I'm very interested. It's I get more itchy to want to play it every time I watch someone stream on it. It's just, um, it's a, it's a zombie game, um, and what it is is it has crafting abilities. You build your base, so basically every seven days, a blood moon comes out, and um, a horde of zombies come to kill you. So you have to build a base and defend yourself against these zombies every seven days um, so once you complete the first horde you have seven days to make repairs uh, find you know upgrades you know try to upgrade your base and and so you just try to survive um, it's kind of like a mixture of minecraft uh, and um, well a zombie game you know, it's it's hard to explain. Um, uh, no, it's it's you actually. No, it's not like Fallout Four. Um, because with Fallout Four, it's you have like different uh, base modules you can add on to. With um, with this one, you actually start out with a square block. And you actually have to build your, your your walls and each individual section of your walls up. Or you can take over a, a house and build your base around that. <laughs> um, you know, you explain it then, man. It's, it's basically Minecraft with zombies. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Excuse the lag, that's funny. It's... Um, out of, out of curiosity, Kato, have you ever seen anything on stream or YouTube about Ark? The game Ark? Okay. Well, I was gonna say, it's kind of like Ark, but without dinosaurs, but with zombies. <laughs> and you have to survive, because that Ark is a huge survival game. Um, I can't find the tractor I need. All right, where's the uh, the plow? All right, so if you try to reset those plows at the uh, to the main bait farm, does it? Because uh... it's like home delivery. And that way it's closer to the field I need. So what I'll do is 
you reset the equipment to the, the tractor, the plows, and the grass seeder over to the main farm. And I'll just take them from there. It's a survival crafting horde game. It's a it's a freaking zombie game that you have to survive and I mean I, I do I do wanna play but it's uh Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and reset the the, tr the tractor for me. That way it's all where I need to be. Tractors. Need the one at the main farm. Okay. Let's start out with this guy. Alright, so what he's... We're doing with his farm is we're going to merge 29 and 30 together. Get it all squared up. And then we're going to do 33 and 32. We're going to square it off. Probably we'll, we'll take a look at it because it's having some weird derpiness over there. Maybe make a and get it working properly for him. So let's come up to 30. All right. Also in the admin setting, you have to set it up so I can create fields. Um, when you go into your options, scroll over to. Um, there should be like a multiplayer setting. You go into it and you have to select uh, create fields. And then you have to hit the square button, I believe, to save the setting. And that will allow me to, uh, to modify your field. Um... I haven't been... Oh, you don't have to do that for me, big. Did you find it? Yes, you have to hit save so it updates to me. There we go.
I'm just gonna watch out. The, the lag is real. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's the game itself that causes it. It's, it's nothing to do with the connections. I mean, I got, you know, a 75 ping to you, so it's just pretty decent. Yep. It's... <laughs> I'll be selling a bunch of that soon. Yes, you do, because you're a nice guy. Cody Dog says, hey, I got course play. You got course play? What's that? grass will be fine through there it'll still plant it's just weird wigging out <clears throat> excuse me all right so now we're going to for now drop this over by the chicken cube no right here this will be fine I'm gonna drop it right here come down and get my other plow And plus, you want to have a game to play with this on. <laughs> well, I do a lot of my uh, a lot of my stuff through digital um, downloads. Um, I don't like having hard copies around because if I'm if I don't have it in the uh, the PS4, it it has a tendency with kids and and grandkids to get broken <laughs> or scratched up. So that's why I've been switching everything to digital. And well, yeah, well, you don't know my kids. Yeah, I think I think where I got into digital downloads mainly is um, back when I was PC gaming. Um, a lot of the games started to go through Steam, and they were getting a little bit harder to find hard copies because I used to just only do hard copies. And then once uh, once you do that for so many years, you just get used to just the, doing the digital download, and it just makes it easier because then. 
now I don't have to find storage to, to put all these things. Yeah, it stays in the cloud. I know a lot of people are like, well, you can resell them. It's like, nah, if I'm buying a game to play, I'm one of these guys that I will play it and save it for later on down the road. I mean, I got games from like the 1980s, well, 90s, you know, when computers were first, you know, coming more popular. I still have those original games. <laughs> yeah. I did play a little bit of the um, truck simulator, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah same thing. And I, I actually didn't get into the, the, the simulators until like around 2011. Um, before then I was into uh, a lot of the space games. And if it had to, anything to do with space, I was I was playing it. <laughs> that would have been a nice one. Okay, so that you know, big. I'm not gonna stop you if that's what you want to do. I mean. that's what you want to do that's what you can do the, the easiest way to to do that with the uh, the card is just uh, hit my PSN up message me with the uh, the code oh does he Push-ups. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Thirty punches to the dick. On the f wow, really? Big kudos. Well, I know the third's tomorrow because it's my daughter's twenty-first birthday tomorrow. <laughs> 